Hi hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how you can play music with the Samsung Music App. Now by default, the Music App is not installed on your device. So to use the Samsung Music App, you need to go into the Play Store. So I would go into Play Store and look for the app Samsung Music and search for that and then you want to install it once it is installed you can locate the app within your apps screen so in here swipe across and locate the samsung music app and then tap on it to open now once you open up the samsung music app this is the interface right here this is the home page and at the bottom is your player so i'm just going to collapse the player and let's uh, take a look at the interface. At the top here are tabs. So we've got the Spotify uh, tab. Uh, tapping on the Spotify tab will allow you to play music from Spotify. We've got the folders the tab, uh, albums, favorites, playlists, tracks, artists, and genres. So here for folders, in folders it will uh, display all your music from available folders so everything is uh, organized by folders in albums in here if you select the albums tab then your music are uh, organized by albums and then you got favorites in favorites you can create a playlist and add your playlist to favorites or you can add individual tracks to favorites and here is the playlist uh, tab in here you can create a new playlist you can manage your playlist and so on for tracks it will uh, display all the available songs on your device in tracks so if you have downloaded an audio file or if you transfer uh, some uh, songs from your computer to your device it will automatically update the tracks tab to display those songs and then you got artists and genres so at the top here are just different ways how your music are organized and display uh, to you. Now if you tap on the more button, you will be able to go into settings. In settings, you can set a sleep timer. So you can, uh, at night time, if you are going to bed, you can set a timer for 30 minutes. Uh, after 30 minutes, your Samsung music uh, player will automatically uh, pause or stop the music. You can also change the play speed. So here we can change the play speed up to two times or up, uh, down to half uh, uh, the speed. Now we'll bring it back to one, one X. Here you can also set the cost fade between tracks. You can turn on or turn off, skip silence between tracks. And you can have your music to display on a lock screen or not. So control music from lock screen in here in playlist you can set the playlist behavior uh, queue settings in here you can choose uh, play mod uh, playback mode to play all tracks or play selected tracks you can rearrange the order so add order when you add in songs to the queue you can add it to the top add it to the bottom or add it uh, after the currently play tracked so that is the queue settings then we can go down and uh, turn on or turn off don't allow duplicate songs so in the playlist you can uh, add in songs but if they are duplicate it will not display in the queue and here tap on manage playlist will allow you to import or export the playlist in the general section you got manage tabs so tap on that will allow you to show high tabs so here you can see we've got composer i can turn on composer genres or artists i can turn it off and if i deselect artists and choice you can see if i go back to my tabs those uh, tabs will be uh, hidden at the top here or we will be uh, disabled so here if i go back into settings and then go into manage tabs i can turn it back on now some tabs are um, are there and you're not you will not be able to remove it uh, such as favorites playlists and tracks 
So any compulsory tabs need to be stay there. And if we go back, we can now uh, slow down and we can also change the dark mode settings. So you can change to dark mode. So you can set your player to dark mode. So that will only apply to the Samsung Music app. We can change it back to light mode. So we turn off dark mode. And here you can allow external devices to start playback as well. So that is just your Samsung Music settings. To start playing music, you can open up your music player. And here to view your music queue, you can tap on this button. So that's the queue right there. So tap that. This is the music queue. You can add in more songs to the queue by tapping on the add button at the top. And here you can choose how you want to add your tracks. You can display your music by tracks, by albums, by artists or by folders. And then you just need to add in, select the songs that you want to add or you want to play, then tap on done. And that will be get added to the queue. And here if I tap on the play button, it will start to play uh, the music. I will lower down the volume. While playing the music, you can make some settings, apply some settings. So here is the shuffle button, which allows you to play uh, allow you to play music randomly. So we can turn it on or off. On the right hand side is the repeat button. So tapping on that will allow you to repeat the same song over and over again. Or you can repeat the whole playlist. Or you can simply uh, switch it off. So here is the off, repeat off. So after the list, the playlist is finished or after the queue is finished, it will not play any more music, it will stop. Okay, so you got the pause button to pause the music. You can go to the next songs or the previous songs. Uh, you can tap on the edit button here. This will allow you to rearrange your songs around the list. So here I can move it up or down. So here we've got spring in my steps so I can uh, so if I want to bring this one down, dream big, so I can drag it down so that it will play next in the list. So you can rearrange your songs and then tap on the back key to save the changes. To add in more songs, just tap on the add button as I showed you previously. Now over here is the sort button. So tapping on that will allow you to sort your playlist by custom order, by date added by name or by artist. So that is the sort button. So I will choose custom order, the order that I have added in. Now to collapse your player, just tap on the down button. That will allow you to collapse the player, but it's still playing. And from here, you can go to your Samsung Music and browse your songs. So you can browse for folders, albums, favorites, and play, uh, playlists. So here in the playlist, you can tap on the add button to create a new music playlist. So let's um, make an example. So playlist one, tap on the create button. After you give it a name, you can uh, select the songs to add to the playlist. So here I can add in five songs in this playlist. Then I can tap on done. Now again, you can filter by tracks, by albums, or by artists, or by folders. Then tap on done. So we have now created a new playlist with uh, five songs uh, included. Now you can also tap on the more button here, then tap on edit. This will allow you to rearrange songs in your playlist. And then tap on the back key to save the changes. You can also change the cover image of your playlist. So here I will select this one, I will make it bigger. So you can uh, select uh, part of the image where you want to include in the cover image. Okay, so that is the cover image right there. If you need to rename your playlist, we open up this menu, then tap on rename. And here we can change it. See, sorry, relax music. Relax list, and then tap on rename, and that will allow you to rename the playlist. To play the songs in your playlist, just tap on the play button, 
and that will add the five tracks to the music queue and it will start to play your five um, selected tracks. So that is your playlist. Now if you touch and hold on the playlist, you can select one or multiple playlists. You can then tap on add and that will allow you to add to queues, add to favorite tracks. You can even create a brand new playlist from the selected playlist. Now if I open up my playlist in here, I can add it to favorite. So tapping on the heart icon will allow you to add or remove from favorite. So you can see here at the moment it has a solid black heart. This indicates that the playlist is now added to my favorites. So I can quickly access my playlist by tapping on favorites. And here it's got IT Jungles uh, Classic. Okay, so that's the playlist right there. Um, to add more songs to the playlist, just simply open up the playlist, then tap on the add button, and then select the songs that you want to add, then tap on done. And in the playlist, if you tap on the button, you can tap on add, delete, share, you can view track details. You can also tap on the set as button. So if there is a particular song that you like and you want to use it as a ringtone, you can do so. So say so brand new baby girl, tap on that, then tap on set as. In here, you can choose to set as, set as from the beginning, play selected highlights part only, or play selected part. So you can choose which part to include in your ringtone. Now down here, you can choose to set as a phone ringtone, caller ringtone. This is uh, specific to a contact. So you can choose that or you can choose uh, alarm tone. Okay, then after that, tap on done. And a new ringtone, a custom ringtone has been added to your ringtone list. Okay, so that is the playlist. And in here, if you need, you can uh, tap on um, sound quality and effects in here. That will allow you to change uh, custom sounds such as uh, changing the equalizer uh, so that you can set it uh, to the appropriate equalizer or preset for your uh, type of uh, music. Now I'm gonna tap on the back key to go back to my uh, music. Okay, if you need to delete a playlist, you can do so. So just touch and hold on a playlist, then tap on delete, then tap on uh, delete. If you want to share your playlist music, you can touch and hold on that, then tap on share. And then from here, you can choose the contact that you want to share and choose your method of uh, sharing. So I can uh, use quick share, I can share it through an email message, or I can share it uh, with a uh, WhatsApp uh, message here. So I can tap on that and then tap on uh, share. And there it is, it will send to my um, my other contacts. And that's it. So uh, you can see um, the Samsung Music app are fairly easy to use. And um, um, you need to have songs uh, in it. So if you just uh, download uh, Samsung Music and your device doesn't have any songs, MP3 or audio files, then you may notice it will be blank, it will be empty. So you can connect your phone to your computer, Windows computer or Mac computer, and you can transfer the data, so you can transfer the music or the MP3 files to your device. Once it is uh, on your device, the app will automatically detect the songs or the audio files and it will display in the tracks in here. And if it has um, all the metadata, such as the artist name or the albums, uh, then your phone will automatically display those information as well. And that's it. So uh, once you have it on your device, you can tap on the play button or you can go to the queue and manage your music queue to play music. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.